Hello friends, fancy seeing you here. <laughs> Welcome back. My name is Jack. This is Powerful Plant Allies. We're here in nature, walking along this beautiful path along this gorgeous stream. You can take a look at how just pristine this spot is. It's just absolutely a, a remarkable piece of nature. It's like a piece of art <laughs> that we're walking on right now. And we're here today to talk about Gaultheria procumbens, also commonly known as checkerberry, teaberry, or also the most common name, American Northern Winter Green. Now, this is a shrub, evergreen shrub, that is around all year. Now, winter green is native to North America as well as other places around the world. We're gonna talk about its medicinal benefits as well as its culinary uses. We're gonna to touch upon it all, but first we're gonna go over the identification features of winter green, how you know that you are looking at winter green, and most importantly, how you know you're about to utilize winter green. You don't wanna, you know, take some leaf of another plant and it turns out to be poison. So that's very important. Know with 110% certainty that this is the plant that you are looking to harvest or you're looking to identify. Now, before we go any further, I would like to touch upon something that's very important. When harvesting any plant, it's important to acknowledge that these are living beings. So they have a consciousness just like us. If you're going to go harvest a plant, it's very important to sit with the plant and ask permission of it first. If you sit with it, you meditate with it long enough, I promise you, you will get a very clear answer. Now, once you have been given the permission from the plant, what you have to do, or you should do, is offer up something to the plant. Now, today, for the purpose of the video, I have some incense that I'm gonna offer up to this sacred smoke. This is pure dragon's blood incense. As a form of exchange for what the plant is going to be giving to us, we're going to offer up this beautiful gift of smoke to the plant out of gratitude, because gratitude is the most important step in being an herbalist, in identifying plants, and especially harvesting plants. Plants give us everything on this planet. Everything you could think of, the food we eat, the houses that we sleep in, the beds that we sleep on, everything. And so it's important to acknowledge that, especially when you're coming into nature and you're just being present with everything. That's, that's important too, is just being present with the earth and being present with yourself. Because by walking down the path of you know, seeing plants and acknowledging plants and especially studying them, you're not only connecting to the earth, but you're also connecting to a deep part of yourself as well, which I've said many times in other videos. Alrighty, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna offer up this smoke to the plant as a gift of exchange, and then from there, we're going to talk about the benefits. As I said in the beginning of the video, wintergreen is actually a creeping shrub, and you can tell that this is a shrub by looking at the stem. The stem is very woody, classifying it as a shrub, and it only grows about three to four inches tall. The flowers can be seen in early spring. They're white with a pinkish tinge on them. They're also bell-shaped. Now, in the late summer to early fall, beautiful round red fruits that are capsule-shaped appear from where the flower stalk was on the plant. Wintergreen spreads through the forests by means of rhizomes. The rhizomes are only about two to three centimeters underground. When there's a wildfire in the pine forest, it usually burns them out completely due to the shallowness of the rhizomes. However, because they're so widespread, they will replenish themselves quite quickly. The leaves are round and ovate, and they grow in an opposite formation along the stem. Along the edges of the leaves are small, fine teeth. In the late fall, if you take a closer look, you'll notice that they start with a bright green color, and as the weather gets colder, the leaves will actually turn red. This is the plant trying to hold on to its nutrients for the winter to keep itself alive and healthy. Even though the colors of the leaves change, that doesn't mean that the medicinal constituents are any different. They remain the same throughout the seasons. Wintergreen has been steeped in hot water to create a tisane or tea as a very powerful diuretic for urinary tract infections. Many Native American tribes have used it for this exact reason. The reason this plant is called wintergreen is because it contains a chemical constituent called methyl salicylate. 
You can find methyl salicylate in our eastern black birch. Methyl salicylate acts in the blood similar to aspirin. It is an anticoagulant and it's a really powerful pain reliever for minor aches and pains. Because of the methyl salicylate content, you can make a poultice out of the leaves to apply topically on aches, pains, and arthritis throughout the body. It is an analgesic and it also has anti-inflammatory properties. Wintergreen is also an astringent, a carminative, a diuretic, an amenagogue, a stimulant, and a tonic. The berries are full of amazing antioxidants. You can put them in salads, pies, and other baked goods as well. Now the berries are my favorite part. You could take them, you could see. Beautiful, beautiful red color. And just chew on them straight from the plant. Mm. Sweet, minty. It's almost like chewing on a piece of wintergreen gum. It's just so delicious. <laughs> As with any form of medicine, there are always going to be cautions that you need to be aware of. Wintergreen oil is extremely toxic in excessive amounts. It can cause liver and kidney damage. Wintergreen should not be taken by anyone who is on any anticoagulant medications, even aspirin. You should also avoid its use during pregnancy and breastfeeding. So as you can see, wintergreen is one of those plants that it's amazing to be able to identify it and use it, but it's very important to acknowledge it for what it is truly and to use it with caution. That's very important with any form of medicine. Do your own research, speak to a doctor or physician, speak to your local herbalist who is an expert on all these plants. They can be able to assist you to see if this plant is worth working for, or if it's right for your body, because everybody's body is different, and that's very important as well. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's great to be back making these videos again. It's been like four or five months since I've even made a video. I've been meaning to do it. And I figured, oh, wintergreen's out all year, so we might as well just do that. <laughs> Remember, these are beings, so they should be treated with an extreme amount of respect, as well as a lot of gratitude, because these little beings right here, look how adorable they are. They're so pretty and so beautiful. <laughs> but they're loving life right here. But if you take the time to listen to them, any plant, they will speak to you. They will speak to you, they will give you advice, they will give you wisdom, and they are here to help us. They help to ascend humanity into the new earth that we're moving into, as well as to heal you. So treat them with respect, work with them. That's what they're here for. They were put here for us to work with them uh, and love them. I hope you guys enjoyed. Give us a like, subscribe, share the plant love with everybody. You guys can follow us on Instagram at Powerful Plant Allies or my personal page, jack.t.stannis, all on Instagram as well as here on YouTube. <laughs> share it out. Much love to you. Namaste. We will see you on the next adventure. And in the meantime, just be at peace and love each other and send those good vibes out into the world because that's what we need right now. Alrighty, peace to you, God bless, and we'll see you soon. Namaste.